Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to explore one of the most profound philosophical debates in history, the debate between free will and determinism. This debate has been as polarizing as it has been fascinating, with proponents and opponents passionately arguing for their respective positions. But let's first clarify what these terms mean. Free will is the belief that individuals have the power to make choices that are not predetermined by external factors. Determinism, on the other hand, asserts that all events and actions are ultimately the result of prior causes, and that our actions are predestined by these factors. The question that has puzzled philosophers and thinkers for centuries is whether we are truly free to make our own choices or whether they are predetermined. This debate has far-reaching implications for numerous fields, from ethics to politics to religion. At the heart of this debate lies a fundamental question. Are we ultimately responsible for our actions, or are they the inevitable result of prior causes? Proponents of free will argue that individuals are capable of making choices that have significant impacts on their lives, while determinists argue that all of our actions are the result of past events and that we have no control over them. We will delve deeper into the arguments on both sides of this debate and examine some of the associated implications. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of what this debate entails and hopefully, be able to form your own position. Determinism is the belief that all events, including human actions, are ultimately caused by previous events or natural laws. This means that every event or action, including the choices people make, is determined by the combination of prior causes and the laws of nature. In other words, determinism holds that the human will is not truly free, but merely an illusion. One of the main arguments against determinism is the concept of moral responsibility. Moral responsibility refers to the idea that individuals are held accountable for their actions, that there are moral guidelines that must be followed, and that individuals should be punished for breaking them. The concept of moral responsibility is premised on the assumption that individuals are free to make choices and that they should be held accountable for those choices. However, if determinism is true and all actions are predetermined, then the concept of moral responsibility loses its meaning. It would be unfair to hold someone accountable for actions they had no control over. Historic philosophers such as Aristotle, Hobbes, and Spinoza rejected the notion of free will and argued for determinism. Later thinkers such as Hume, Kent, and Schopenhauer made significant contributions to the debate on free will and determinism. They questioned the causal relationship between events and actions and expanded on the notion of moral responsibility. Today, the debate still rages on and continues to challenge our understanding of human nature and the universe. Compatibilism, also known as soft determinism, is a view that seeks to bridge the gap between free will and determinism. According to compatibilists, free will and determinism are not mutually exclusive concepts. They argue that determinism does not necessarily mean that individuals are unable to make choices. Instead, they suggest that free will is compatible with determinism if we consider that individuals can act in accordance with their desires and preferences, even if those desires are themselves the result of past causes and influences. In other words, people can still make decisions and act freely even though their actions are ultimately causally determined. On the other hand, incompatibilists reject the notion that free will and determinism can be reconciled. They argue that the two ideas are fundamentally opposed and cannot coexist. Incompatibilists believe that if determinism is true, then free will is entirely illusory. They assert that the only way to have genuine free will is if our actions are not determined by prior causes or natural laws. Hard determinism is a view that denies free will altogether. According to hard determinists, everything that happens is causally determined, including human choices and actions. Therefore, 
Individuals have no control over their lives and cannot be held morally responsible for their actions. They suggest that people's actions are merely predetermined responses to external stimuli. Hard determinism stands in contrast to compatibilism, which maintains that people can still act freely and be held responsible for their actions, even if those actions are ultimately determined by prior causes. In summary, compatibilism seeks to reconcile free will and determinism by suggesting that free will can still exist even if determinism is true, while incompatibilism argues that the two ideas are fundamentally opposed. Hard determinism, in particular, denies free will altogether and suggests that human actions are entirely determined by prior causes. Hard determinism has several implications in society, particularly in the criminal justice system. If everything is predetermined, then it could be argued that criminal behavior is not entirely the fault of the individual involved. This argument challenges the idea of punishing people for their actions since they cannot control them. This perspective suggests that punishment may not be the most effective way to prevent crime since it does not address the underlying causes. The argument from self-determination is one of the primary arguments used by incompatibilists who assert that free will and determinism are incompatible. This argument suggests that individuals have a special level of control over their actions that does not exist for inanimate objects. This control comes from an inner spark that separates humans from animals and objects, enabling them to make free choices. This argument is often used to support the belief that humans have genuine free will that is separate from any deterministic factors. Fatalism is a belief that suggests that events are predetermined and that humans are powerless to change them. Fatalism is different from determinism in that it suggests that our actions are fated rather than determined. This belief has significant implications for the debate on free will and determinism since it suggests that even if we have free will, we cannot change the outcome of events that are already predetermined. The debate on free will versus determinism has been portrayed in popular culture in several movies and TV shows. The movie Inception explores the idea of whether we have control over our dreams or if they are predetermined by our subconscious. The TV show Lost suggests that our actions are predetermined by fate and that individuals are destined to be a particular way. Another famous example is The Matrix which suggests that our reality is not entirely in our control and is, in fact, a predetermined simulation. Science has provided some insight into the free will versus determinism debate. Current research has suggested that our neuronal activity can predict our choices up to several seconds before we consciously make a decision. While this may suggest that our actions are predetermined, scientists have also acknowledged the role of consciousness in the decision-making process. Consciousness may provide us with the ability to intervene in the deterministic process and make choices that are not entirely predetermined. The role of consciousness in the free will versus determinism debate is central to the argument. Determinists argue that consciousness is merely an illusion of free will and that our choices are predetermined. In contrast, those who believe in free will suggest that consciousness provides a higher level of control over our actions and that we have the ability to make choices that are not predetermined by deterministic factors. The role of consciousness is still a highly debated topic and further research is needed to gain a deeper understanding of its significance in the free will versus determinism debate. The free will versus determinism debate remains a relevant and controversial topic in the modern era. Advances in neuroscience and technology have provided new insights and evidence that support both sides of the argument, leading to an ongoing discussion about the extent of human agency and control over their actions. The implications of the free will versus determinism debate are profound and impact various areas of society, including ethics, law, and psychology. If human action is completely predetermined, it raises ethical questions about the notions of responsibility and punishment. However, if humans have complete free will, 
then it raises concerns about the true extent of their responsibility and the fairness of rewards and penalties. Furthermore, the debate influences our understanding of mental health and addiction. If individuals lack free will and are predisposed to addiction, then the onus is on society to facilitate recovery rather than placing blame on the individual. Thus, the debate continues to shape how we view and treat individuals with mental health and addiction disorders.